Hello, in this video we're going to learn about points, lines, and planes. Here we go. Alright, the first thing we're going to look at is a point. A point has no dimension and it's just represented by a dot. So we see an example there, point A with a capital A for the point. A line has one dimension, so we see an example there, line L, we could also call that line AB or line BA. It's represented by a line with two arrowheads because it extends without end in both directions. And one thing to remember is through any two points, there's exactly one line. A plane has two dimensions, represented by a shape that looks like a floor or a wall, and it also extends without end in all four directions. Through any three points not on the same line, there is exactly one plane. So here we have points A, B, and C. They are not collinear. Collinear means on the same line, so these three points are not on the same line. Um, so we could call this plane M or plane A, B, C. Name it with three points that are on the plane. So let's look at an example. Here we have plane V, right? See how it's labeled right there? V is not a point, um, so it's plane V. And we have line T that is intersecting this plane. That's why when we see these dashed lines right here, that means that line is going through the plane. That's how that's represented. So over here, we have some questions on the right. It says, give two other names for line RS and plane V. So line RS we see is right here. So line RS, we could just switch those letters and we could say it's line SR, or we could call it line T. All right, now they tell us to name three collinear points. So collinear means points that are on the same line. So we can say that would be um, points Q, S, and A. And lastly, we want to name four coplanar points. Well, if collinear means on the same line, coplanar means on the same plane. So we want to name four points that are coplanar. So we have point W, Q, S, and A. And those would be our four points that are coplanar. Three other definitions. A segment, much like a line, but it has endpoints. So instead of extending in both directions, it has a defined end on both sides. And here we have segment C, D. We can see how it is written right here. A ray consists of the endpoint, in this case, the endpoint X, and all points on line X, Y that lie on the same side of X as Y. So um, to kind of summarize that, a ray has an endpoint on one side and it extends in uh, extends forever in the other direction. So here we have ray x y, and here we have ray y x. Okay, so we name it by the endpoint first, and then the other point on the line that extends in that direction. Opposite rays. So if we have point S, for example, that lies on line Q R between points Q and R, then we would say S Q and S R are opposite rays. So opposite rays are going to have the same endpoint, but they extend in different directions or in opposite directions. So let's look at an example with that. So we have two lines that are intersecting here at point E, and they want us to give another name for segment BC. So segment BC would be from here to there. So we could just call this segment CB. All right, now they want us to name all rays with endpoint E. So we could say um, our endpoint is here. So we have ray EA. We have EB, we have ED, and we have EC. So this would be ray EA, ray EB, ED, and ray EC. All four of those. Now, which one of these are which ones of these are opposite rays? So ray EA would be so here's EA would be opposite with ED. And then we have ray EB opposite of ray EC. So EB and EC, and those are our opposite rays. The last thing we're gonna look at is intersections. So we just looked at a diagram where we had two lines that intersected and they intersected at a point. So that's important to note, two lines intersect at a point. And now we're gonna look at what happens when two planes intersect. So two planes intersect at a line, that's important to note. So let's look at our last example. We have plane U and plane V that are intersecting. So number one says, what is the intersection of line EF, 
So line EF and line L, okay? Well, we notice that they intersect at point G because two lines intersect at a point. Question two, the intersection of plane U and plane V. So plane U and plane V, plane U is our darker gray plane, plane V is our lighter gray plane. Two planes intersect at a line, they intersect at line L. And lastly, the intersection of line L and plane V. So plane V is our horizontal plane, and it's gonna intersect line L at line L. And those are points, lines, and planes.